Greetings, YouTube. Happy spring cleaning weekend once again as we continue to produce videos on this channel geared toward helping you make smart purchases. And they say that sometimes the hardest advice to take is your own in life. And so this video, if nothing else, is for me. <laughs> yes, that's right. I am making a video on my channel targeted for myself. Because I've received a couple of, uh, I don't know if complaints is the right word, but definitely um, ulterior perspectives to my initial uh, decision and price point for the biggest ticket item in the Thronebreaker store. Now, if you are uh, not Thronebreaker, this isn't going to apply to you, though if you're Cavalier, you do have a six-star Awakening Gem Crystal that is available in one of the bundles in your store that we reviewed and looked at yesterday. But uh, I was just shocked. I was godsmacked at the beginning of, uh, of the day yesterday when these deals came out. And I saw, for the first time ever, the equivalent of the six-star generic Awakening Gem that is only available, that we've seen so far, if you 100% explore the Abyss, something that takes 20,000 plus units, even for the best players. And let's just ignore the units for a second. That's going to take you probably five to six hours minimum per path. So you're looking at over a day's worth of hours, even for the best players. It takes a lot of time and grinding and money to get the six star generic awakening gym. That's why it's so sought after. And Kabam basically said, hey, if you're throne breaker, we'll just uh, have you save all of that time and energy and even most of the money, 200 bucks, we'll give you the units and we'll throw in a six star generic awakening gym. That's how much we care about your money in April, as some of you continue to call this April Fool's Month, uh, I guess this would be part of that conversation. I immediately looked at this and thought, I gotta buy it. I'm never gonna see this again. I'm not gonna explore the abyss before the year 2030. And on paper, it made sense to say that because if there's one champion that I know is gonna benefit from being awakened, and I just cannot do it, it's Ghost. I've been trying to awaken her with featured six-star crystals, six-star nexus crystals, etc. for a long time. And I have been unable to awaken her. And I talked about that in my video. And some of you decided to pull a Prof Hoff on the Prof. Because first off, I have had many people I trust, even some of the best Ghost players, argue that they would rather take up unawakened warlock than awakened ghost to rank three as a six star. They think for the future of the contest and even for the current state of the contest, particularly how great warlock just absolutely slays the cavalier event quest every month, if nothing else, he's got more value, more utility than ghost. That is its own video that could be hotly debated in another time. But Let's just say for the sake of argument that it was Ghost versus Warlock. Well, here's the argument against making this purchase. Yeah, I can get myself a six-star tech awakening gem for Ghost, who does benefit also from, you know, not just being Sig 1, but being a pretty dang high Sig. But for the same price, it's 810000 I could buy both of the six star nexus class crystals which if i chose tech could awaken ghost or warlock plus i would get eight tier four class catalyst selectors to eventually rank them up and this especially includes uh if i'm looking for a different class of six star which we'll talk about but that's only four hundred and five thousand, right and so that's literally half the price i would have four hundred and five thousand doubloons left over after purchasing both bundle eights and that 405,000 could get me so much in the contest for starters i could buy we're just going to subtract this right let's just do let's use the calculator so we're starting with 405,000 we can buy 30,000 six star shards plus 50 that's crazy to say tier one alphas and still have 270,000 doubloons left over. So how are we gonna spend that 270? Well, I'm probably gonna to wanna to maximize the 5% the tier five class catalyst fragment selectors I haven't purchased yet. 
which is another 81,800. Even after that, I've still got 188,200. So let's scroll down. What can we get for 188,200? Well, we can do the big gamble and we can get our first tier three alpha and also 2% tier five class catalyst fragments. But what we could also do, here's where it gets real crazy. We could buy all five five-star Nexus hero crystals, which would get us five more shots at hunting the dad bod in Nexus form, plus 25 generic six-star signature stones, which are also one of the rarest items in the game. And we'd still have 53,200 left. Well, what can we get for 53,200? We could buy one of the bundle sixes, which gets you the 10% of the tier five class catalyst fragment and a tier two alpha or for 53,000 speaking of six stars we could buy almost eight bundle fives which yes give you God, so many tier five basic that's uh m like one in what about one in uh over one and a half tier five basic plus eight six star signature stone crystals or you could go back real basic to like bundle one and uh, max out the 10 and get yourself another six star crystal plus 10 tier four basics, which I always need. Look, I don't even have maxed out. I have 15 out of 19. So I think those of you who've reached out to me, who've said prof, I don't think it's worth it for most people. I think you've convinced me. Let's get the calculator out of the way. Uh, I think you've convinced me that it's it's not worth it for me. Now, if you have Aegon, if you have Captain America Infinity War, um, maybe even you want to awaken like Doctor Doom. I wouldn't say Apocalypse would be in that. Uh, one of the champions that would be in this discussion and this is where I'm kind of thinking, because I don't really use Ghost that much. I just know that if I awaken her as a six star, I'll be excited to use her. But I also have her as SIG 200 and a 565 already. And so I know people who will still use their five star more than their six star because they'll cycle through special twos faster with that max SIG ability. But I've got this thing. And think about all the really good champions right now and the Mutant Crystal. I don't have Archangel. I don't have White or Red Magneto. I don't have X-23. I don't have my Apocalypse Awakened. And of course, my number one champion to use this on, I don't have Omega Red. So if I think about it that way, it makes a lot more sense for me to purchase both class crystals, but not for tech, for mutant. So these are the thoughts that are going through my own head right now, because it's going to cost 810,000 doubloons, and I've got 965,000 left from the uh, $300 or three Odins that I purchased yesterday. So... Is it worth it for some summoners who have specific six-star champions that must be awakened and at a high sig, I think it's worth it. But if you're like me and you kind of don't need it to get, to change your account and there's a lot more guaranteed value in so many other things you could buy for the 810,000 doubloons, it actually makes very little justified economic sense compared to everything else you can do. So that's where I have fallen. You all have been, you've prof the prof, and I appreciate that. Um, let me know if you think it's worth it in the comments below. I think it's a case-by-case -case basis, but for most summoners, I think you'd, you'd be way better off purchasing 810,000 worth of maxed out several other bundles together versus just one of bundle four.